Hi there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you for joining me again today. This is a series of videos I'm making uh, featuring the Garden Meadow uh, Bundle. This is an online exclusive from Stamping Up. So when you go to my Stamping Up website, if you click the option for online exclusives, you'll find some, um, the, you'll find the Garden Meadow stamp set and dies, which are a bundle. You'll also find this fabulous paper it's called Meandering Meadows, and that's what we're featuring today. Um, it's such beautiful 6x6 designer series paper. We're not doing any stamping. I'm just going to show you how to make a box featuring a whole sheet of this um, 6x6 designer series paper. It's one piece. The other side is more of muted tones as well. Really, really, really pretty, pretty paper. Um, yeah, really pretty paper. So this is the Meandering Meadow 6x6. And this is a very simple box to make. It's a good size any, for any occasion. This ribbon actually is also an online exclusive. It's the gold and silver trim. So all online exclusive except for the cardstock, which is, what am I using? Gordon Orchid Oasis. That is a in colour for stamping up and it will actually be retiring in 2024. Um, in the early part of this year. So if you like that colour, I recommend you probably stock up. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get this made. Let's make the base first. Pop that back on. So the base of the uh, box, the Starry Sky, is actually um, 7 inches by 7 inches. And we're going to grab the Simply Scored Scoring Tool and pop that on. And we are going to score all four sides at 1 and a quarter. Let's make sure I got that right. Yep, one, one and a quarter on all four sides. Okay, so that's the base scored. And then we're going to grab our designer series paper. I mean, either side is beautiful, right? But I'm going to stick with the same one. And this is six by six, so no extra, no more cutting or anything like that need, needs to be done. Um, and we are going to score that at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. I have put the um, link, by the way, I've put all of these details um, in the description bar below. Three quarters of an inch. That's our paper scored. So, fold and burnish the box. Super easy box to make. Super, super easy. And it's a good size too. Really good size. Grab your paper snips and all you're going to do is cut up each one of these and wedge each one in. Slightly tighter than that one. <laughs> Cut up, make a little wedge, turn it round, do the other one. And that is the box. So these will all come in here. I would like that. And then the box will sit over the, the lid will sit over the top. So I'm going to do the same here. So I'm just going to fold and burnish. Now this is just paper, so don't be too um, firm <laughs> when you are burnishing it because it may rip. So we're just going to do the same with these ones. We're going to cut and wedge. Cut. As long as I've got my my um, as long as I scored it correctly, <laughs> it will 
fit around this box. I've got a horrible feeling I didn't cut it quite right. I mean, I'm just looking over this one to make sure I've got it right. Hmm. I may not have cut that at three quarters of an inch, actually. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, let's put this box together first. So fold in all your tabs. And grab your preferred adhesive. Just for ease of, I'm going to use Tombow. Grab these little kegs. Pull it together. That one, the one, so it folds up nice and easily. Just pop those pegs into them together, the one to that side, that one, oops, okay, so we've got all of our pieces folded in, okay, and let's do the same with this one. So no stamping, obviously you can put a sentiment on here if you want to, <laughs> um, but I'm just going to leave it because it's an easy box to make and I think with that addition of the bow it looks really, reminds me of a, a like old school of a chocolate box. Right, so once again we're going to fold them in, pop that on there to hold it. Now what I would normally do at this point is I would actually not have put glue on the other side and I would have just checked that I had it right. So I'm pretty sure it's right but you know these things do go wrong sometimes. I think that's okay. Just want to Try not to get glue <laughs> in the box. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is just wrap that round so I've got it nice and firm. So what I would suggest is that you just put your glue on one, one edge, then when you're ready to wrap it round, pop your glue on that one. I just always feel like it just sort of settles a little bit more easily. If that makes sense. Probably not because I've go back and put that in. I just sometimes I just feel like I need to wiggle the lid on a little bit. So I just put the put your adhesive on two tabs and then wrap, wrap the box around. Let's give it a second to dry off, hey? And do this really cute bow using both of them. Again, an online exclusive. These online exclusives, they're there for as long as they're there. So if you like this paper, um don't delay. I mean, you know, I don't know. It, there's no indication that it's going to be withdrawn anytime soon. But, you know, people sometimes wait and wait and then they're disappointed. And this paper is just beautiful. I mean, if you are going to use it for card making, you don't need much else apart from that beautiful paper. That beautiful paper. All right, let's just grab some glue dots. Um, that ribbon on. Might use two. There's quite a lot of ribbon on here. Okay, and just on an angle. And I mean, if you were going up doing a few gifts, you could use a heap of this paper because that's these are really easy to make. And there you go. There you have it. Really cute, really easy box to make featuring the Meandering Meadow Designer Series paper from Stamping Up. I have put links in the description bar below for all the products I've used today. Thank you so much and have a great day.